If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Hey everyone, Derp here, and this is Battle Pirates Beginner's Guide Episode 6. Today I want to give you a brief check-in and update on the status of my outpost, my dock, and my raid fleet, and how I'm getting ready for the next raid as a brand new account. First of all, my outpost is now level 13. I'm continuing to do research and development through objectives, which just helps out a fair amount with a few different bonuses. You get things like more critical hit chance or different crews or, or some shards. Some of the stuff doesn't help at all. You're never ever going to build an Aegis or really use a Wolfpack crew, and they're really easy to get in the first place. Things like VXP modifier and some other events are helpful, uh, especially when you get into the other bonuses in terms of damage and map speed, and just keep doing research and development slowly. It will take you a few months to get through, but you can do it quite easily. Just click on the different objectives and do whatever you need to do. Things are, are quite easy. This one, you have to repair ship armor. This one, you have to destroy a subsector of Cronian resource base with your free skirmish fleet. So things are pretty standard. Now, what I want to cover here is, you know, that's the outpost that's been upgraded to max level, which means my dock has been unlocked and I started upgrading that one. And I use tokens from the Forsaken Mission, the one day structure build token out of the medium pack for both of these things. No, I don't want to stop upgrading. I want to speed it up. And these do give you one day structure upgrade tokens, which are quite nice. And that just helps speed up things a little bit further. You need the max dock so you can use five of the of the newest ship in the actual raid. There's the dock update. Now, in terms of my fleet, I did manage to go out and hit VXP weekend using a few reclaimers. I mentioned I started out just building blanks. All of these ones right here just have a single thud one which takes 7 seconds to build, plus the 3, 4 days, whatever it is for the actual blank hole. This means I could get 4 or 5 ships out really easily for VXP weekend, and just put on a Salty Dog crew, which looks like this one right here. You get a, and I don't actually have any of those right now, but you get double VXP when you go and hit things, which is great. You want more VXP from those VXP targets, which happen just after the first raid. Now this first raid, the first Reclaimer raid, I had gotten the fleet in the pillage the week before, so I didn't actually hit any targets, get any points, I ignored it completely. I don't even think I logged into this account during that raid. And this was because there was nothing there worth getting for me, the top prize was a PvP ship, it didn't matter. I just focused on having my full Reclaimer fleet ready for the second raid in the cycle, which at this point is just about two and a half weeks away. I have gotten a build through for the flagship and all the other ships. I'm just going to build five ships exactly like this. And the builds, will, of course, will change. If you're watching this two months from now, we'll be dealing with the Tier 10 Assault Hole, the Ravager. Watching this two months after that will be the Tier 10 Skirmish Hole. A year after this might be Tier 10.5 or 11. But just build a pretty standard basic build that works great for everything. You can see this one, I just am using the unlimited weapon, not the limited one. A countermeasure, a random engine I had at least five extra of, as well as just a few other different tech here, all of which was quite easy to get, and I got through pillage. Now, I'm just building this with no armor right now, because I just need to have this hole functional enough to go out and actually hit the first raid targets. It's not upgraded right now, maybe when it comes time to do the whole specific TLC for every single fleet, every single ship, there's a TLC that happens once a month where you get some surprises for. There's not actually one running right now. You can see this one's for the Everest, which I probably should do to get some more build tokens and some armors and whatnot, as well as one for potentially trenchers. I'm not worried about those two right now. But there is a, there is a time-limited campaign for all different fleets where you can go get extra build tokens, upgrade tokens, that is scheduled to be two weeks from when I'm posting this right now. And that will just give you a few more tokens to get your fleet done. I'm concentrating on going into the second raid in the cycle with a full fleet completely built out, not upgraded, maybe not even having armors on these things. I'm just going to go in with five ships that are pretty well built. You will notice that not all of these ships are completely ranked because I didn't play enough on this account during VXP weekend to get everything ranked, which means I'll either go in with a few ships that are 74% bonus instead of 75, or I'll have to do the time limited campaign for the Reclaimers called Siegebreaker, where I'll get a few VXP tokens in addition to the other stuff that I mentioned. 
I also want to note that I do have some Forsaken Mission tokens from the different prize packs. You can see that in prize pool 1, there's a one-day ship build token. Prize pool 2 doesn't have any ship build tokens, but still get the chest. It's like 200 points. Prize pool 3 has, you know, more tokens. And the Elite Forsaken Mission chest has a two-day token in it. Prize pool 5 has a legendary chest, which has either a two-day two plus another two-day which you have to always open this one first before the Elite so things don't overstack, or a 2-day plus a 1-day, which is much more common, or the very rare chest of a 2-day plus a 7-day token. These chests are key. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about in this short video here is that you need to save 2 weeks worth of Forsaken Mission tokens for the raid. This is so you can get the tier 10 assault hole or the newest hole, which comes out every two months. You need to go into the second raid in the cycle with two weeks of Forsaken Mission tokens saved. One week in token form, where you open up the legendary chest first, then the elite chest, and everything else, open all those up and keep them in token form. The next week, the week right before the raid, you just leave them as chests in your inventory. This means you'll go into the raid with two weeks worth of Forsaken Mission tokens saved and can use those to start building the ships pretty much instantly. That's the plan here, and that is what will allow you to be a top level player. And try and do this every single two month cycle. Go into the second raid with a full fleet, good enough to at least get the blueprint for the next hole on day one, and save your Forsaken Mission tokens. In terms of the actual Forsaken Mission, I've just been using my Everest Fleet on auto to hit the low, lowest level target, the 163, and or the lowest level Everest target. I don't have the patience to hit the 143 whole bunch, maybe you do, but again, I'm playing on two accounts, no coins, stuff like that. I'm just hitting these 13,000 points a pop, and I'm worrying not about the current armors for the Siege Hole, I'm worried about the Assault armors for the next hole. You always get some tech early. I'm not going to get the throwers for the seed ship. I'm not getting the armor for the seed ship. I'm actually getting the old armor. Or I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting the current armor or even the old armor. I'm getting the new ones that are for the assault ship. So that will be better equipped. And this is so that when the Ravager does come out, I'll have enough armor. I'll have 10 of each saved up. And I'll actually be able to put those on my fleets and have a full assault fleet ready. Don't worry about the present. Worry about the future. So just to recap, my outpost is now upgraded to level 13, which is great. I've been doing R&D on that one. My dock is upgrading. It will be done by the time the raid hits in two weeks. I have a few ships that are working on being built, and I'm going to use a few tokens on these to help speed them up as well, um, which is great. I'm going to make sure I go into the actual raid with five of this design built, including one as the flagship for regular. And if I need tech here, I can always scrap the old ships. If you don't have any Missile Defense System 3s, well, the old Zealot Tier 9 Assault, uh, you can probably scrap that one and use some Missile Defense System 3s. If you need some of these radioactive batteries, I've actually been scrapping my Tier 9 Seed Ships, the Punisher Mark IIs, and using those radioactive batteries. Just get tech through whatever means you possibly can, or if you don't have this one, use something similar to it, like the Unlimited Siege Battery. And of course, um, these are my ships that I have right now. If I show you my dock, and it's great because I've got one already done, second one finishing up. This one will be done, done with Forsaken Mission tokens, and these two again slow build time. And then wait for the whole specific TLC, which happens once a month. That one will be very doable with the older ship, the Gladius, which of course is at U0, so it is going to struggle a little bit. And this Gladius again came through prize pool 1 of, of the Forsaken Mission. I'm not really worried about pillage, which will happen about a week from now. I'm more worried about the raid two weeks from now. Although, of course, that pillage will actually have the updated prizes, and I'll actually be able to use the Everest, which I already have, as well as the fleet for that pillage will be the Photon ECM. I don't have that, but it should show up in a pillage in the Forsaken Mission chests right here the week of. So you, I, that's a great thing. I maybe come out with another video on pillage, and then one final one, maybe final one in this series. Let me know if you'd like this to keep going in terms of the uh, in terms of actually uh, we, day one of the raid and actually how to build your ships and get four or five of those done uh, with tokens. All right, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, you can go ahead and let me know. If you have any questions, I'll make sure to answer them. This is Derpy signing out, helping you be better pirate.